I swear it needs to be studied how quickly a man change after he gets some. It needs to be studied because like it's like two different personalities. Like before the man get it, he's a whole different type of man. Similar to what I was talking to y'all about before. It's like they be so eager. They want to talk to you. It's like, oh my gosh, like they want it like hungry dogs. So they would do anything just to get it. Just for after when after they It's sad, but it's so true. I don't know what it be. Well, I do know what it be. You be so motivated to getting them draws that all the flaws that she might show you, you don't even notice it. You don't even care about it. As soon as you get them draws, that post nut clarity kicks in. Yeah, they they a whole different person. Now all of a sudden they ain't interested. It's ill, like ill, like ugh, like I'm bothering you. Like what? That's why it's very important, very important for women to keep their stuff to themselves. These a lot of these men don't deserve that cat, okay? Because the switch up needs to be studied and it's given mental it. It's given mental issues, like because how are you two different people? Like two different people and a lot of times us women we not like that if we give it to you we're the same person before we gave it to you we're the same person not to be given to you but it's something in these men heads that click once they get it and they are no longer the same person they was before and it's scary so i advise women to just keep that cat to yourself girl keep it to yourself because these men don't deserve it i'm gonna be honest you are 100 percent right ma'am from my experience it's some ladies out here that need to work on their personalities some of y'all not all of y'all because some of y'all women are great I've had to curse some of my friends out because they pull that same move on perfect women. I know everybody ain't perfect, but great women. It's a few of y'all. Your personality is trash. All you got going for you is looks. Most times, niggas tolerate you to get what they want. And when I say to get what they want, you know what we're talking about. They trying to walk in that door between your legs. Now, I do feel as though it's foul that men do this. But here's the crazy part. Suppose a dude really get to know you and get to really feeling you and vibing you out and he's just waiting for the cat and whatever and then he get it and it's trash if someone cheated would you give them a second chance depends depends on what interesting ah. i want to hear this all right so i feel like if somebody cheated like say it's like a lit night my man goes out to like miami okay you're drinking you're turned up with your man and you're on the strip club and he was like okay i'll f the stripper and i'll be like <laughs> i'm gonna let that rock okay, like really don't forget about it as long as you don't tell nobody what do you think you bring to the table in order for someone to treat you with 100% respect? When I'm in love or I know I'm getting the same treatment that I give them, I know that I could bring them 100% commitment. I could bring them love, loyalty, respect, all the things that you need to make a relationship work. So let me ask you a question. Why do you think most relationships do not work in your opinion? Bro. There's no loyalty because they don't have respect for each other or they've been damaged by a previous relationship. Damage meaning um, maybe somebody cheated or maybe they just, even if that person didn't cheat, that person has no experience with commitment, so they feel like somebody is always doing them dirty. That first statement, I feel as though she's saying that because she probably think it's okay for her to cheat too. She's smart. The way she cleaned it up at the end, she's very intelligent. So I can definitely see her saying, all right, well, you did you. Don't feel no type of way when I do me. You got to read into that, bro. Is cheating okay? No. So if you did some dirt and some dirt get back done to you, own up to that. But at the same time, if both y'all cheating on each other, y'all shouldn't be together. Babe, can, can you unfollow this girl? Can I follow her? Yes. Yeah, can I know why? Um, oh, she posts bikini pictures. Yeah, no, nah, I can unfollow no problem. Anything for you, baby. I love you. Love uh, you too. It's not gonna be like that if you ask. Babe, you mind unfollowing this guy for me? Why? Because, like, he posts a little, like, I'm just uncomfortable. He's with my you. friend. He's like a brother to me. No, I get it. A brother. I've never heard you talk about... Why Jerry. are you being so controlling? I'm being controlling. Oh my god, she hit all the touch points. He's like a brother to me. Oh my god, it's not that serious. Why are you being so controlling? Why are you being so insecure? All the touch points, except doing what he did when you asked him to unfollow. Yes, you're being so controlling. Come on. So when you asked me to unfollow someone the other day and I just did it. She was posting bikini pictures. He, you think that's respectful? I just don't understand you. Why do you have to control my life? So I'm controlling. Yes. You know, your shorty will ask you to unfollow a chick because, you know, she make me feel uncomfortable. what she do? She didn't really do nothing. I just feel uncomfortable, right? Niggas will be in your girl DMs. Folks will be sending her good morning text messages. And you'll be like, hey, I don't like what y'all got going on right here. It really ain't you. It's him. But you know what your girl will say? I can handle it. Don't worry about it. I'll handle it. And then the way she handling it, it's not effective. We can see these snakes slithering from a mile away. When your guy actually say something to you, it's because he noticed that homie's getting more and more comfortable. You know 
what I don't understand. I don't understand how some of y'all go to people's house and you spend the night. Do you stay there mad long after the night over? Like, now was one of time. Now Facts. Facts. I'm sorry. I, I cut her off before she cooked. Facts. Yo, have you ever invited her to your crib and then the conversation then got dry and he keep trying to find shit to talk about? My man, it's time to go. It's time to go. I was after the last evening. You still laying around? Facts. You don't get the memo time to go. Like you don't get the memo. Like all right, let me let me just get up and go because I've been here too long. Why are you still here sitting there talking to me? Like I'm tired of talking. I've been Facts. trying to focus since last night. You understand? I feel like when you go to people's house, no one is willing time to go. Now, like six o'clock in the morning, something about once I get up, go, bro. Unless the Facts. person tells you that you'll stay. Nah. Dead. Y'all don't get the memo. This is why people are not allowed. Yo, not allowed on my crib because they don't know how to go home. What? Is it twelve o'clock? Wait, how was it? In the afternoon, you still talking to me? Like, how you sitting? I'm ready for you to go, Bookie. Why you think I'm mad? Quiet, go home. Like, I'm about to. Like, go. Oh, I want to be me because go the fuck home now. Go. How she sitting? What? You know what I don't understand? I don't understand oh, how... I don't understand how she was sitting. Like, the, the leg position, it was awkward to me. But facts. Now, even spending the night... It's very rare that I have people spending the night in my crib. You know what I'm saying? You come over, you chill, we ha 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 ha. Then it's time to go, bro. I know when it's time to go. If I go to your crib and I start... I start getting that awkward feeling... Because everybody have that awkward feeling. It's just certain motherfuckers that get the feeling and choose to ignore it. And I, I know you ignoring it because, nigga, it's my crib and I'm getting the feeling too. Damn. What's popping, y'all? It's your girl, Philly. Love yourself more. And it's going to be hard to... Sometimes picking yourself first can be the hardest thing to do, but you got to love yourself Yo, more. Not all the money. I reacted to a few of her videos before. So in case you guys haven't been seeing what's going on on social media... A young lady posted a picture with her and Big Diesel. Big Diesel meaning Shaq. It was her. I'm not going to lie. I was a little disappointed, son. You feel me? Because she be speaking all that life into women. Even into men. She be saying some motivational shit. And then she went out bad. Listen, whatever you and Shaq had going on, maybe you wanted it to be more than it was. I think that's what it was. But... Posting that and exposing that, that was a bad way to go. And Shaq is just out here denying it, folk. Shaq is denying it. Shaq posted a video with him and like multiple women, like fans, and he just standing over their shoulder and all that. And he was like, well, I guess I'm sleeping with them too. But Big, Sha Big Shaq, Big Shaq, it looked like you was in a hotel room. Plus, the next day, she posted a video with you asleep. You asleep. I still know it's a few of y'all that watch these videos religiously that aren't subscribed. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. And make sure you got the notification bell selected to all. That way you can get all the notifications when I upload these videos. Stop playing with me. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get right. In the world can buy you. Not all the money in the world should make you accept something that's going to make you uncomfortable. Mm. No, um, Nobody in the world should make you feel less than who you are. Or make you be somebody that you're not. And if you're with somebody that's making you feel like that. Or somebody that is controlling you. Because of the power that they have. Because of the finances that they have. Because of the position that they're in. Don't let nobody do that to you. Who's she talking about? Screw money. Money is the root of all evil. That'll come. But everything that glitters is not gold. And everybody does not mean well. Even though they look good on the outside. That sound like Shaq was uh, trying to keep it on the low. You exposed it. Yo, honestly, shorty, I would have just, I would have kept it on the low, man. Ain't nothing wrong with being Shaq's sneaky link. You was already f I would have made a conscious business decision out of it. Instead of exposing what y'all had going on, Shaq have reach. He has reach. And one thing I know about is going to pillow talk. So you could have put that sauce on him, put that poom poom on him, and let Shaq Diesel buy you a business. Let him finance a business for you, man. Once you, your business start making you some money, let his ass go. When it comes to cheating between men and women, let me tell y'all something. That is two different things. When a guy cheats, it's like, okay, it was just one night. I just boned her. You feel me? It ain't no feelings. It ain't no relations. But when a girl cheats, Baby, I'm gonna be real with y'all. We ain't just 
we ain't sitting around here just you feeling that nigga. anybody this person has to definitely have done something for us or we have feelings for them facts a woman's cheating is definitely not the, the same, same versus a guy's cheating if, if that makes more sense like if a woman does it she definitely has feelings if a guy does it it's like deuces i did what i did deuces on to the next but let me tell you if a girl do it it was Billy her long shit. She gone. I ain't gonna lie, brother. She gone. That relationship is not gonna get fixed. And and let's let's argue. Let's argue. Good. When it comes to cheat, I be trying to be politically correct and say cheating is cheating no matter who does it. But this is this is a fact. Unless your girl is just a damn harlotin, she a loose goose. If your chick cheats on you, bro, that dude's special. He's special enough to break down the walls of Jericho. Ladies, that's why I hurt. That's why I be hitting different when you cheat and when a dude cheat. Now again, cheating is wrong regardless of who does it. But the reason why I be hitting so hard is because we know that it's something about this. That's why you gave it up to him. Okay, y'all. Story time. God just finished working out. All right, we, we all going to listen to this. I'm going to tell y'all what's going on because I was following this yesterday. This lady and another young lady, these folks went on vacation last week. I know the other young lady through somebody I went to school with. They lived like on the south side together. I met her before. She was actually kind of cool. But what she did yesterday on the internet was not cool. Basically, they went on vacation together. And then yesterday, they started the beef. You feel me? The other young lady found her phone. She went through the phone, screenshotted messages, and just started exposing her, bro. How would you feel if you were supposed to be friends with somebody and you find out that your friend has been bashing and talking so bad about you for seven years? Your personal, go inside your phone, screenshot in your bank statements when you accidentally left your phone, screenshot in celebrities' numbers to hit them up. How would you feel? What would you do? And then the person, find, you find out that the person did this to you and they send you flowers to your house. I just, I'm curious to know what somebody would do if you found out that somebody was bashing you like that. And then the other thing is, have y'all ever seen me be a scary ass person? Honestly, I had saved some of the videos that was, you know, the little back and forth they had going on. But it was too much negativity for me to dwell into. And I didn't I didn't feel like showing all of that on my channel. I don't think women are capable of long-term friendships. I remember when I used to work at the factory, if you had a line full of women, you just knew that it wasn't gonna take long before World War III broke out over there. Them folks was literally on vacation last week, came back to America, and now they pulling up at each other's houses wanting to fight. And the things that this lady was saying about Johnny Blaze was crazy. And to think that's your friend for seven years? There's no way y'all could be friends for seven years and the first time y'all have a, a back and forth, it goes to that extent. That's showing me that the foundation of that friendship was built off of envy. <laughs> Don't nobody be wanting to drink after you, after you done backwashed. If you wanted the same drink, order it. You, hold, Denea, come here, let me show you something. Yes, let me show you something. Oh, you look nice. Oh. Thank you. All right, I was talking shit. They're red lobsters? They're like red lobsters or the Cheesecake Factory. I be talking. I told these folks that red lobster oh, is better than uh, Papa Do's. I like the drinks. You was eating? Where you at? I'm cooking for y'all. That's what this is? Yeah. What it smell like? Like you went out to dinner? No, I'm making burgers. Veggie burgers. Anyway. Yeah. Well, you know. 
Yes, he did. Yes, he did. I've never done that, but I not that. Huh. She done gave me some ideas, actually. Don't do that. Why not? Uh-uh. I'm kicking your throat. You do that. I'm talking about... Did you have a Charlie Hurst? Charlie Hurst. Charlie Hurst last night? Where your foot going? <laughs> Please. I'm going to kick me in my shit. Maybe my ankle. <laughs> Just step on my foot, baby. Step on my big toe. <laughs> I can't even really go in, <laughs> It's it's, uh, it's it's PG thirteen. I can't really say what was going on when I had my chalky horse. Well, I was playing basketball. Don't don't do that. Just change the damn subject. Kevin Samuels. <laughs> what the Kevin Samuels? <laughs> God forbid it wasn't that bad. But <laughs> you know what? He probably had a mini heart attack before he just chose to ignore it. Like he, it's like you know, you know, keep on going, keep on going, and then just conked out. So why would you do that? <laughs> Why? Like, you know them red pill niggas don't even. They some of them niggas don't like me like that. Why would you do that? I was just giving. That's what came. Yeah, to he mind. went, but he went out how he's supposed to go out. You know what's crazy? Femi was at the barber shop with him like the day before. Oh wow. He him and Femi go to the same barber shop. So Femi was like, "Yo, you know who ain't here?" I was like, "Who is like Kevin Samuels?" And then the next day, he passed away. And he know that man routine. That's crazy, bro. Mm -hmm. But anyway, like I was saying. Why sip out my straw if you know you backwash? The thing about it, though, I saw what she did. I got to do that. She put her tongue in the straw, like, to stop the backwash. So, she just, so like, nothing went back. I've never thought to do that. So, he was oh, really yeah. being extra. All your food. Yeah, every all your food. I know, but you've been stopped allowing me to drink off I of know. you. So, we don't even have that issue. I know. If y'all see how she drink, you know it's crazy. You drink what? Mm. I ain't. <laughs> don't look at me like, yeah, I ain't going to. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I'm just saying you drink the way you drink water. If mm. shut up, just be quiet. I'm gonna stop. I'm going to the store. I'll be back. What you going to store for? To get what I need for y'all food. What? It's a surprise. Oh, I smell the burger now. Okay, so I'm gonna get hamburger. Oh, I said it already. I did. I'm yeah. 